What's going on guys, Nitrex here. Today I'm going to be making a tutorial video, so I'm going to show you guys how to install and set up Blocks Strap for Roblox. Basically, uh, I guess it's kind of like a mod menu for Roblox. It's not exploits, but... So I'm going to just cut it to get in here. So... If you go to um, GitHub Blocks Strap, you'll see it here is Pizza Boxer Block Strap and Open Source Framework. It's a framework for the Roblox client launcher. So basically what you want to do is download the latest release of Blockstrap. But what I do is just do alternatively, you can install Blockstrap via Winget. So this is for Windows. So I will show you how to do this real quick. Uh, but before doing that, you want to make sure you have the .NET 6 desktop runtime. So you want to install it from this link here. You want to go ahead and download this. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'll just cancel that. So once you install that .NET 6 desktop runtime, you want to go ahead and copy this. You want to open command prompt as an administrator. And you want to paste that. Wait, oh god. No, okay, we're good. Oh, why does it do that? Okay, hold up. So you do winget install block strap. And I'll go ahead and install it here. So basically it's going to, uh, oh, okay. This package is request. Yeah, so you want to make sure you download the uh, runtime before you actually download Blockstrap. So once you see successfully installed on Windows, you can go ahead, look on your desktop. I believe that's where it is. Yep. So you'll see Play Roblox. But uh, before you do that, because basically what it does is just open the um, the Roblox client, which is from the Microsoft Store, I believe. Uh, I'll show you once it opens. <laughs> yep, there we go. So I'll open that. So what you want to do also is, I think if you go here, open file location. Um, no, okay. So I think if you search here for blocks strap, yeah, block strap menu, uh, you want to go ahead. I'm going to open file location and add that to my desktop by showing more options. And where is it? Send to desktop. There you go. So now you have the block strap menu. So this is what it looks like, real quick. Uh, basically, you can configure all this stuff. You can show game activity. I keep it off, but basically, if you do that, it'll um, show that you're playing Roblox on Discord. And if you enable allow activity joining, people can actually join the session you're in from Discord. So like the exact same server you're in. And you can also allow multi-instant launching, which means you could be like on an alt account, like playing two games at once, say for like epic mini game grinding and things like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's some mods. I personally use the old death sound. <laughs> uh, I made a video on how to get the old death sound, but now uh, you might as well just install Blockstrap to do this. Uh, it has quite a few options, which is pretty nice. You could change the mouse cursor, old avatar background. Uh, old character sounds, all that stuff. It's it's really good. Um, you could change the type of emoji Roblox uses. Apply custom fonts. Uh, you could change fast. Oh my god, <laughs> sorry, I can't pronounce this stuff. I don't know why today. I just can't pronounce anything. But you can change the fast flag options. Uh, change your frame rate. So you could uh, usually Roblox caps it at sixty FPS. You can make it unlimited, but I just keep it at one forty four. But you can edit fast flags. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you don't have to worry about it. But you get some uh, old Roblox stuff. I just keep these default preferred escape menu. You can change the... Uh... Basically, you can get some old Roblox stuff back. Uh, I do this. Enable ability to hide um, graphical interfaces. You have to join the Blockstrap group to do that, though. But, like, it's nice if you want to take screenshots inside of a game without all the, like, interfaces in the way and stuff. Sort of like, you know, just uh, of the environment, you can take pictures of that, which I like. Uh, you can enable old material textures and stuff like that. And I just keep everything default. So the reason why I started using this is because uh, sometimes when playing Emergency Response uh, Liberty County, after like an hour, my laptop would crash randomly. And I, I went as far as changing the thermal paste on my laptop. And uh, that still didn't work. So I contacted Sean and he did say uh, uh, some people did report the same issue. So I think it's a performance bug that they're going to look into and try to fix. 
But yeah, so ever since I started using Blockstrap, that hasn't happened to me. My laptop hasn't crashed. So I really like this. And uh, usually I also turn my graphics down a tiny bit. But with Blockstrap, it works perfectly. And my laptop doesn't crash. So it's a nice little client for Roblox. Um, I'll show you one thing too. Um, where is it? There was one thing that I enabled. I think it's under mods. Uh, it would show what, hmm, where is it? It would just show what, uh... oh, here we go, server location when joining a game. So I'll just save that, and I will play Roblox real quick. I'll just join emergency response or something really quick so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, when I join a game, it shows that I'm connected to uh, New Jersey US as my server, so you can sort of see uh, where the server is located that you're in the game. So this is a new Jersey server. It's not really a big thing. It's just uh, sort of seeing how close you are to a server. So, you know, maybe you'll get a better connection or something like that. Uh, as you can see, I'm only at 60 FPS, but that's because I'm in a, uh, this is emergency response. It's going to be like, I think if I turn my graphics down, you'll see that. Uh, yeah, there you go. See, so usually Roblox caps you at 60 FPS, but I'm getting 70. But yeah, so. That's pretty much how to set up uh, Blockstrap. If you have any questions about it, uh, you could also leave them in the comments and I'll be replying to them. But um, also be sure to tell me if you want to see any other tutorials regarding Roblox or any other games you want to see me play. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.